Hey guys, it's Danny. Now today I'm back with another brilliant way to make your oats ahead of time. This one is actually perfect as the warmer weather just starts to creep our way because you can actually eat it cold, but don't worry if cold oats don't do it for you, you can also take a minute to heat it up in the microwave. For this quick bite, I'm showing you how to make overnight refrigerator oats. The basic recipe for overnight refrigerator oats is simple. You wanna use equal parts oatmeal, milk, and yogurt. Now, as for the oats, you wanna use good old fashioned rolled oats, not steel cut and not quick. So if you need to know the difference between all your oatmeals, make sure you check out this video right over here. As for your milk, you can use any milk that you love, cow's milk, soy milk, coconut milk, whatever floats your boat. Today, I am using homemade almond milk, which is delicious, and you could certainly learn to do yourself by checking out this video right over here. And then lastly, you've got your yogurt. You want to pick a plain yogurt, and you can either use regular yogurt or Greek yogurt. Now, usually I go with the Greek yogurt, and that's simply because it has a little bit more protein in it, but today I'm actually using regular yogurt because that's what I had in my fridge. Now, you could certainly make this in a bowl, but I love using these canning jars. You get a pack of 12 of these, I buy them at Target, it's about 10 bucks, and you can use them for so many different things. I store my oats in here, I store my greens in here, I make salad jars, I make my overnight oats, lots of different options. I even have one up in my bathroom where I keep all the brushes for my makeup. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab my jar, and to that I'm adding in a third of a cup of the rolled oats, a third of a cup of the almond milk, and then one third cup plain yogurt. Now from here you could give it a stir, pop on the lid, pop it in the fridge, but I prefer to add some flavorings here. So my favorite combination right now is to add in a quarter of a chopped up banana, one teaspoon of chia seeds, and then a couple dashes of cinnamon. Now I stir it all together, and then pop the lid on, and put this in the fridge. It's gonna go in for about eight hours, more or less overnight. Now what I like to do is make these at night before I go to bed, same time when I'm packing up the kids' school lunches, and then when you guys wake up in the morning, this is what you're gonna find. It's like this sweet, creamy, almost like an oatmeal pudding. Now, just a couple notes here, guys. Number one, if you like your oatmeal a little bit looser, just add a little bit more milk. Number two, you can really use any flavor that you love here. So if berries are in season, use berries. If you love apples, use apples. If you like raisins, do that. The only thing I would not do is anything crunchy. So if you wanna add some crunchy nuts or a little fresh granola, save that for when you're ready to eat it. Otherwise, it will get soggy. And number three, if you're not into cold oats, just pop it in the microwave for a minute or two. Mmm. Sweet creamy banana goodness. And I gotta tell you, cold oats, surprisingly delicious. This is the perfect on the go, clean and delicious breakfast. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm Danny Spees and I will see you next time with some more clean and deliciousness. You need to use equal parts rolled oats from the top. You wanna use oatmeal from the top. We did discuss that before, but it's still a quick breakfast, warm. Just pop it in the microwave for a minute or two. Now let me find my spoon. You ready?